guys, Stacey from Getting Organized Magazine coming at you from the other side of the camera today to talk to you about small spaces and specifically closets. A lot of people struggle with their clothes closets no matter what the size is, but if it's a small size, it's even harder. Now this, as you can see, is a walk-in closet. There's some floor down there, um, but it is a small closet and it is a very strange angle. There's um, a sidewall over here that in, comes in, in at a very strong angle. So the spacing in here is quite odd. <clears throat> So I just want to kind of walk you through the closet and talk to you about how you can use all the space, all the walls, everything that you've got in your closet. And again, you can use this in any small space, but today we're going to be specifically talking about closets. So when you come into the one side here, what we've got on the wall are some hooks and right now hanging fleece, jackets, coats, that sort of thing on there. Um, which is perfect. It's easy, grab and go right where you need them. And it makes a perfect use of the, what, about two feet of wall that would have just been left empty there. At the bottom is a shoe rack. Um, and just, as you can see, just fits in. There's an, another odd angle over here on the side. And so that shoe rack fits in perfectly. So that is, I've got um, hooks, shoes, one wall. Now on the back wall, somebody had installed the closet organizers. And the thing about closet organizers that are great is that they organize your closet. The thing about them that's bad is that they're not always the kind that you wanna use or in the place that you wanna use them. These happen to be fixed, so you can't really move them around, but um, I was able to use them no matter what. So the first one is used normally for hanging clothes. But as you can see down here, there is another one under there, but it doesn't really make any sense because you can see how these are hanging long underneath there. And so trying to hang another set of clothes under there was very difficult and just didn't work. And if you can see under here too, there's actually another shelf, but you know, accessing it, things are hidden. In fact, you can't even see this box that's storing my rollerblades in here because the clothes are hanging down. So whoever created that, didn't do measurements of the clothes and so it doesn't really work. So what I've done instead is for um, sweatshirts and things, I've gone ahead and put in one of those um, buildable shelving systems. Now I could have put a dresser in there, but one thing about a dresser, as you can see on the bottom, that the um, shoes bump up against that wall. And so a dresser, I wouldn't have been able to pull the drawer out, which means I wouldn't have been able to use this whole side of the wall. So that's why I opted for open shelving because even though there's something back behind there, it's really easy to access. All I have to do is pull this out, slide it over, and I can get to it. And obviously I'm storing things in there that I don't need a lot, but again, I wouldn't be able to keep all these shoes here if I had a drawer in here or something that had a cabinet type thing in here. So open shelving was the best way to do that. And again, I'm hiding something up under there that I don't use on a regular basis. At the top, these are nice storage bags that are taking care of winter clothes. So snowboarding type things, winter boots. It doesn't really snow that much here. So basically that's out of season storage that I really never access. And you can see I'm pretty tall and I can just barely reach the top of that. So you never wanna store things that you need on a regular basis on something that you can't really access. So that's perfect. All my winter gear can go up there. I don't have to worry about it. I reach it, you know, a couple of times a year. Now over on this side, the top shelf, I was putting sweaters up here, but as many of you probably struggle with, they were flopping all over the place. So what I did was put these sweater boxes in. So these are just acrylic. You can get them in different kinds. It's a, just a box that fits in here and it holds the sweaters from fold, falling over, which is fantastic. Now, the one thing that was happening is, is as I was pulling out a sweater, <laughs> the whole box was coming out. So underneath, I just ran a huge runner. You can see it goes all the way along of um, just an anti-stick, you know, one of those rug kind of um, anti-stick things here. And so that makes it sticky. You can't, I just can't pull on tugging on it. You can't pull it at all. The other thing you wanna do is maximize your space. So as you can see, I filled up that entire section 
with the um, sweater boxes so that I could make sure to make the most of the space. Now I could have probably gone a little bit higher, maybe even put another shelf up there. There's just a little bit more room, but I do have um, a heat sensor up there and you have to keep things away from that. So this is the perfect solution. On this wall, we have the short hanging shirts and then we have long hanging pants, uh, dresses and that sort of thing. Now the thing that's tricky about this wall is it's on an angle and as I said, you've got short hanging and long hanging. So what I did, I know I have a lot of shoes and I know I shouldn't keep them all if I'm not using them, but some of these things I wear <laughs> once every couple of years. Um, so I've kept them because I have the room for them. And if I don't, if I want to buy a new pair of shoes, then I get rid of something in here to make space for them. But as you can see over here, I've got a wood shelving long length shoe organizer and it fits all the way to the wall. I mean, I couldn't have done better kind of with the things I found for in here because they do fit perfectly. The problem was if I wanted to do that wood again, there wasn't enough room and it's on an odd angle. Plus I wanted to be able to use the height that I have between the hanging clothes here. So I went and opted for a different kind of shoe organizer. Now this shoe organizer, you can either use horizontally or vertically, which is fantastic. So you can see that I went ahead and put two in um, vertically so that I could get that height. And you can also see some of the shoes, like these are dressier, bigger shoes on top. I use one, um, per spot and then the smaller ones I can put two in there so it you know it gives me a little bit more room and on top here you know might as well use the top of it I'm putting a few more things in there so even though I mean that's just a spot you can go ahead and put shoes up there too so that was great because I wanted to let you know that I bought one wood one for over here and one wood from one for over here but I don't have to have a wood one everywhere and you can use different heights, different angles. So when you're looking for things, mix and match and use what's best for your space. Then as we turn over here, we've got another hook system over here, which is great for, as you can see, uh, bathrobe, jewelry, scarves, accessories, that sort of thing. Now, if I didn't have a bathrobe hanging here, I could use the um, length of the wall to put another um, hook on here, like if I was just doing the jewelry, I could probably have three or four um, hook kind of lines going on here to do all of my accessories. But I like to have my bathrobe there and let's face it, I don't have that many accessories, so I didn't need to do that. But you definitely could use an entire wall with um, this kind of a hook system or <laughs> you can see my old school one, I used a thumbtack and <laughs> there's one for that at too. Then I got really fancy and used the command hooks, which is way better because they're not gonna damage anything or put holes in there. So up above the door, I had a little bit more space and I didn't know what to do with my hats. So I used that space for the hats. So another quick walk around, we've got on one side hooks and shoes. We've got storage, uh, hanging clothes, folded clothes on an open shelving system to fit so that we're using that space as much as possible. Then we've got sweaters in sweater containers. We've got short hanging, which just allows us to have more shoe organizers in a vertical position underneath them. And then under long hanging, we have the shoe organizer that is fits perfectly underneath there. And on the wall, we've got our accessories. So we've got hooks for accessories, hats, things like that. Now, I'm not gonna say that I did all of this in one trip to uh, an organizing store. It did take me a little bit of time to find the right shoe things that would fit in here and the right um, shelving system. So a couple of things, be creative. You don't have to have everything matching perfectly. Use the space that you have available and have patience because sometimes you have to try things and if it doesn't work, you got to try something else.